All right, here's my newest. Actually, it's my next new, or the second newest. Uh, I just did an unboxing on Brazilian Pennywort that I bought from a vendor on eBay. This came from PetSmart here in the Coachella Valley. Uh, and this one is called El Nino Fern. It's their top thin brand. And it's a Bulbitis, heterosliatus, heteroclita. Okay. And it looks like they're kind of a broadleaf trifoliate. We'll see. Um, so let's open it. And they're packed in this uh, gel, and there's little bits of styrofoam tucked in there, too, probably. Uh, I've seen this gel used in the landscape industry. And uh, let's open this and see what it looks like. All right, so here we are. A lot of times I'll keep that stuff down at the bottom and just use it later. That slides right off. So let's just split this. And I save these labels, so I will just cut this out. I don't want to cut a leaf. There we go, the scissors on top of the leaves. So I'll cut right down the seam of the label. There's a little container in the bottom. Forgot about that. There it is. And there's tape around it. So let's just quick and easy. And cut it both sides, one side. Let's gently shake this out. And that's the root mass. You remember these are ferns. So they are trifoliate leaves. Look at that. Hope you can all see that. Three leaflets. Really pretty. So I will, and it's, they're ferns, they're, these are epiphytic. Uh, I could just drop this in the water and I probably will. I'll, I might uh, end up super gluing, yeah, cyanoacrylating, how's that, to, uh, I don't know, a piece of wood or uh, um, a rock. But in the meantime, I am just going to drop this in water. But that's it. That is it in a nutshell. There's uh, six really nice fronds on here. And I don't know if you can see this, but right in the end here is, looks like a new bud or a new, what'll be a new leaf, I hope. It's hard to tell if that's damaged or not. Yeah, it might be. But anyway, it looks like, no, there's one on the side here too. So I think this will do just fine. Uh, this will be one of the bigger ferns. This will be nice. And I think this could also be a fern that you could grow, uh, what would it be, immersed? you know, maybe towards the top of the tank. Uh, you might need to keep this misted, fogged, whatever, for a while. Um, oh, this is even better. There's a little plantlet growing right off the, the tip of the frond here um, until it acclimates. I don't know how well that would work here. We are very arid. They might just fry. So this one's going underwater. And then we'll... we'll see how it goes from there so anyway you know as always uh don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you would please and now take a look down below uh you can join the channel and that will really help us grow and uh also somewhere up here on the right the left side of your your screen youtube's going to tell you what the next great video to watch would be uh click on that and as always thanks for looking